Hello, my name is Bob Stokowski, and I'm an LPL Financial Advisor here at Equest Wealth. Hi, Bob. I'm going to be sharing with you an easy and effective way to help control your assets after your passing. You mean, like, like, dead, dead. It's called naming a beneficiary. Sounds pretty simple, right? Simple, to the point. So many people forget to do it or are never advised. Either way, it should be done. Let's do it. Naming beneficiaries and accounts can help you accomplish a few goals. Number one, probate avoidance. By naming a beneficiary or beneficiaries, you'll most likely keep that asset from being probated. Upon your passing, those assets should pass directly to those individual, individuals, or entities such as a trust. Number two, it'll help fight against family fights. Have you ever heard of families fighting over money? Fighting, openly fighting. It's all over the money. Yeah, most of us have. And unfortunately, money brings out the worst in many people. I'm sorry, he brings it out of me. Number three, you could choose who you want to receive the money rather than having probate decide for you. Or maybe you want to have an account set aside for someone not named in a will or a trust. Number four, the beneficiary would usually get quicker access to the funds to help with final expenses. Here's an example. Let's say Mrs. Smith had a savings account and she had her daughter on as a 100% primary beneficiary. Her daughter could go into the bank, present the death certificate, her identification, and could have access to those funds in a, sh in a fairly short amount of time. This could be useful to pay for funeral home expenses or outstanding bills owed by the decedent. We owe a lot of money, Pay. Over the years, I've met many people that have said, oh, I did my estate plan. I just added my kids to all my accounts in my house. Well, there's some downsides to doing this. Number one, once your child or other person is added to the account, they now have access to those funds. It is legal that they could drain that entire account. What? That can't be legal. It may be immoral, but it is legal. Number two, you may now open yourself up to their liability. Since it's considered joint assets, if they were to be sued or declare bankruptcy, these assets could be used for settlement, even though the intent is for beneficiary purposes. Number three, there could be current tax advantages to be listed as beneficiary as opposed to joint owner. The joint owner may miss out on a part of a step up in basis. I'll cover step up in basis in another video. I can't wait to see it. Please consult an estate planning attorney before taking any of these actions. They will be able to help guide you in the right path and help you create your own estate plan according to your needs. If you have any questions about estate settlement management, be sure to reach out to me at equestwealth.com. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos and be sure to hit that like button.